The human brain contains around 160 billion cells, most of which are neurons. Neurons communicate with each other at synapses, where the tips of their cells meet. Patterns of interactions and signaling allow us to store information and memories. As well as providing processing power, neurons create a network in the body where the decisions made within the brain can be communicated to the intended target, such as in the gut. The gut contains a fine structure of villi and microvilli, which aid the absorption of food. Bacteria can help facilitate this process, which forms colonies within this structure. We now know that there are almost the same number of bacterial cells as there are human cells within the body. Of the human cells, red blood cells are the most common type. These cells have an average lifespan of 120 days. This means that the body is continually producing such cells in a process called hematopoiesis to provide a constant supply. Typically, the body produces around 200 billion red blood cells every day. This process occurs within the bone marrow and is also a process that gives rise to other cells found within the blood, such as immune cells which fight infection. These processes are housed within a hard bone structure that is continually being modelled and sculpted by cells, such as osteoclasts and osteoblasts. Hematopoiesis can go wrong, giving rise to the uncontrolled replication of immune cells, which can give rise to conditions like leukemia. These cells, like trillions of other cells within the body, contain complex signaling pathways inside. Such pathways often signal down to the nucleus, where genes comprised of DNA are turned on and off to alter the function of the cell. The life expectancy of a cell within the body can vary dramatically depending on its type. Cell death can be dramatic, where the cell implodes and collapses in on itself, in what is known as apoptosis. Apoptosis completes the life cycle of a cell and our journey within the body. This journey highlights the complexity of cells, how they form small cogs in a large machine, working together to support life.